Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncreate the LS2 Advent. What's up, Speed Addicts fam? Shad here. I'm gonna jump in and tell you all about this brand new Advent helmet from LS2, but first, do us both a favor subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That way, you don't miss out on any of the latest parts or gear coming your way. We're always getting first look, just like we are here at the brand new Advent helmet from LS2. Subscribe and don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to purchase one of these Advent helmets that I'm gonna tell you all about in a minute here today, we'd appreciate it if you shop with us here at Speed Addicts and we make it real easy. There's a link in the description below. They'll get you right over to speedaddicts.com to purchase one of these Advent helmets. Uh, you can also shop for any other parts or gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. Let's get into it. We are talking about modular helmets today, LS2. Their slogan is always ahead, but I think they should change it to get more than what you pay for. They're always kind of over delivering. Some may say they're trying to buy the market. I don't know what they're doing, but they're giving you a lot for your money. That was the case with the predecessor to the Advent over here on my right. This is the Valiant 2. We sold a lot of these helmets. The format is the same. We're doing an update redesign. They changed the name to the Advent, uh, but the formula is similar here in that this is a modular helmet that flips all the way, whoops, 180 degrees, so that you can more easily, whoops, here's the Valiant 2, this is what's being replaced, so that you can more easily ride with it in the open configuration. Most modular helmets stop right here. This drags a bunch of wind, it screws up the center of gravity, it's awkward. And so the idea between uh, with these 180 degree flip back helmets is that you can now cruise uh, with a full open configuration. Of course, you're gonna sacrifice that protection in this format, but it gives you that freedom and uh, lots of versatility. So we're replacing the Valiant 2 with the new Advent. Same formula, like I said, we still have that 180 degree flip up chin bar and a lot of new updates that are definitely something that you wanna stay tuned and learn all about. The price tag, this is gonna be 359 to 369, depending on if you're going with a solid or graphics. Remember, prices may change at a later date. Don't hold me responsible. The weight is improved. We're gonna save 50 grams with the new Advent helmet. It's almost two ounces. Doesn't sound like a lot, but when it comes to modular helmets, which tend to be a little heavier, every ounce counts. You're gonna be at three pounds, 11 ounces, so creeping up uh, about three and a quarter pounds there. Not too bad considering everything that's going on here. You're getting that flip up chin bar. You're getting that internal sunscreen, the exterior shield, lots going on. DOT homologated, of course, as well as the new ECE 2206. In case you're not familiar, ECE is that European homologation. It's their testing standard over there. Recently, uh, Europe has moved to the, from 2205, which is what we were testing on the Valiant, to the new and more stringent testing regimen of 2206. Instead of one drop test, this new testing regimen includes four drop tests, different velocities, uh, an angular um, energy management test. What it means is that you are getting a safer helmet, hopefully, with the stricter testing regimen. So definitely something worth getting in the new Advent. Now the helmet is tested in both full face configuration and in open face. So it's, it passed the test uh, for both an open face helmet and a closed face helmet. So they call that P and J. Uh, and it is nice to know that it is crash tested in both setups here. When it comes to comm systems, you will be more easily able to run a universal comm system because the mounting point is uh, more flush. There's no weird angles or anything to interfere except for the drop down sun visor. We'll show you more on that in a minute, but you can go adhesive mount. You can install any comm system you want. The speaker pockets are very friendly to any sort of speakers you're gonna run. You're gonna be dialed in. When you look at the comm system setup on this uh, Valiant 2, it had speaker pockets and you could do it, but there was more to contend with. You see that, that angle right here? You see how the slider comes up higher? There's all these extra chunks of molding. You know, they've redesigned, they've thought about these things now, you've asked and they've listened. Now, when it comes to comm systems, you are also set up for an integrated solution that's going to be released at a later date. It is going to be made by Cardo. It is going to be very nice and it's going to plug in underneath this neck roll. It's gonna to be totally uh, stealth. You're not gonna be able to see that, that uh, integration here. We'll show you when we pull this apart. But a lot of times when uh, helmet manufacturers go to an integrated solution, it's 
you know, it's in the way, it, it hinders you from using a universal setup, but not here with the new Cardo system. Because it's new and it hasn't been released, I don't have this Cardo comm system I'm talking about that will be compatible with this, but it's coming soon. Again, you have your options, you know, open to you with the new Advent. Intermediate oval head shape, very similar fit in terms of the size as the Valiant 2, it runs pretty true. They're using two shell sizes, but with improved cheek pads, which we'll show you in a minute, and uh, they're a 3D laser cut. They also have lots of other cheek pad options. They have an extra thin option, so if you have a more full face, they're gonna get you dialed in. Pretty much any head, we can get into one of these Advents or the Valiant 2s. Very friendly fit. You're gonna see sizes extra small through three extra large. Go buy the LS2 sizing chart over at speedaddicts.com, and remember, you should be buying your helmets with us here at Speed Addicts because we have no cost returns. That's right. We do not nickel and dime you like those other guys. As long as you live in the lower 48 states, you're going to get a free return label in a few clicks. Get the helmet on the way back, exchange, get a refund, whatever you need to do. Make sure to give a shot and we will treat you like family. On with the show and enough of my shameless plugs. Let's look at the ventilation system side by side. This uh, Advent does ventilate quite well. Of course, because these are modular helmets, you can ride them in the open face configuration. That is always your uh, emergency exit when it comes to, to ventilation. You're not getting enough air, this thing flips up, you can ride with it open, you have plenty of ventilation, but the built-in ventilation is uh, quite handy. And I like the redesign. Instead of going with these dual vents up here on the top, and you have to switch each one of them independently, and the switches were kind of small and separated, um, they've gone to this one vent in the middle, very easy to work with kind of this paddle, paddle switch up on the top. In terms of ventilation, what we found is they're pretty similar. They both ventilate quite well. It's just kind of a redesign. It's um, easier to work again with one. And of course, if you leave one of these open and one of them closed, you're gonna ride in a circle. Nobody wants to see that. Down in the bottom, chin bar vent. Pretty standard, not much difference there. Okay, they both have the chin bar vent. Let's flip them around and look at the back vent. Now, they did drop the winglet vents on this new Advent. I don't know why they had to do that. I would like to see them maintain those. Every little bit counts. Uh, up on the back, your exhaust is not switchable. You cannot turn this off. It is a passive vent, but you are gonna get great Venturi exhaust in both of them. The EPS is channeled and imported uh, in both, so you're dialed in there. You will notice just in terms of design, the Advent over here on my left, it's more round. This is from what I understand about helmet safety, a better situation. Less dramatic shapes tend to glance off objects better. You know, these big angles, while they look cool, they're technically not quite as safe when it comes to crashing because they can hang up on stuff. So I don't know if this is part of the ECE uh, testing standards where they went to more of a smooth back. This almost kind of looks like a Schubert design as opposed to these more dramatic angles. It does look cleaner though, and uh, I think it will crash better. When it comes to the shell construction, I failed to mention the material of the shell up front, like I usually do. We have a, um, basically this is a polycarbonate design, so it's not fiberglass. If you want a fiberglass or carbon fiber, they are soon to release the Advent X. It's gonna be more money. It's going might be a little bit lighter because of that. But the Advent is their KPA material. Now KPA is somewhere in between a composite or fiberglass shell and your plastic or polycarbonate shell. What they do is they take polymer and they, they put uh, microfibers into it. And so it has those kind of it's nanotechnology and gives it the strength of that composite material, but the low coefficient of friction of polycarbonate or plastic. You want it to slide, right? So a fiberglass shell might not slide quite as well because it'll tend to fray as you get into it. Whereas the polycarbonates really, they, they glance off and slide quite well and they can fine tune the rigidity because of that KPA material when it comes to energy absorption. Pretty cool. Okay, let's look at the face shield. So you have a UV blocking, scratch resistant, polycarbonate face shield, and they've moved the switch a little bit here over on the Valiant 2. You notice this used to be the little kind of catch here was longer. They've moved to a more like a, it's a, it's a deeper indent it's smaller, but it has more uh, grip to it. So it's a little bit easier to grab. This one, they also put a little catch up at the top, which is unusual. I've never seen that before. They don't have that on the new Advent. And so that's kind of the shield redesign. 
This is pin lock prep, so you notice you have little nipples here. A pin lock insert, in case you don't know, is a lens that installs on the inside of your external face shield to deal with fog. If you have fog problems, you're in the Pacific Northwest or somewhere else that gets foggy or moist out, yes, I'm sorry, I used the M word, you can install that pin lock insert. It's gonna reduce or mitigate your fog issues. Beneath that, we do have that internal tented screen that is retracted over here on the left side. No drama there. Uh, LS2 has dropped down internal visors in a lot of their helmets and they know how to manufacture that in a way that doesn't become problematic to you down the road. It's gonna have a five year warranty. I love to see that when I have lots of moving parts, be it the chin bar or the internal sunscreen there. So they got your back. Okay, now with this matte black version of the Advent, you will also get an external dark smoke shield. That is something they're only doing on the matte black. They call it the Noir, okay? Sounds fancier, I guess. You're gonna get that, in addition to what you see here, you're gonna get another shield in the box that is dark smoke. That's only with the Noir. You guys hear that? The rest of the graphics, the colors, you're only gonna get the clear and of course that internal screen. Now, what you're gonna get on all the advents, in addition to that pin lock insert, the other goodie that all of them get is this backpack helmet bag. So if you're gonna carry your helmet around uh, off your head, you might find that interesting. And then you also get kind of your standard helmet sock included in there. So LS2 always throwing in the extras. All right, let's flip this helmet over and check out the uh, interior. But first, one other thing I wanted to show you that I really liked about the update here is that they dropped all of this extra plastic molding here on the edge. I don't know why they had to do this on the Valiant 2. I think it's ugly. I just, I like this design. It's much simpler, it's smoother. And again, when it comes to the comm systems, there's just less drama involved to get in there. And the chin bar was also updated. So this, whoops, on the LS2, the swivel on this kind of went up, over, and then it kind of, it flipped over itself. With the Advent, it's a smoother action, it's one motion, and so it's just a simple hinge here. There's no uh, bump or hitch in the giddy up, it just goes all the way back, it locks into position, there's nothing that you need to release this, you're just going to push that back forward, okay? Now when you want to open it, you do have to press the button and lift it up. If your face shield's down, it's going to move it up out of the way, you got to bring that back down into place, and there we are. The uh, chin curtain is designed to kind of stay out of your way here. And uh, that is how that chin bar functions. It's got a new design play on the outside. And they've also added some hex screws here. I think that's for service down the road. If you have any issues with this joint, they can more easily service it compared to the Valiant 2 that looks like it was completely sealed and uh, probably more difficult to get in there and check that out. Okay, now we're going to flip it over. Thanks for waiting. Here we go. There is the underneath of the new Advent from LS2. We have a quick release chin strap, very similar to the one on the Valiant 2, except for they got their micrometric, uh, well, the micrometric is their quick release, but they added a little magnet here to hold this uh, in place. So you're gonna lift that magnet, you're gonna pull away, and you're in and out. Chin curtain, like I showed you a second ago. Let's get this out of the way. Now, one of the updates on the Advent is going to be the cheek pads. They've moved to a 3D laser cut cheek pad that is much more comfortable because of the way it, it's gonna hold your face, but they've also covered it in like this micro suede instead of more of like a spandex feel on the other one. So this is just more premium. It's a nicer place to be. It feels better against your skin than kind of that more uh, spandexy feel on the old Valiant 2 up in the cheek pad area. Now, this is a size medium. You can see the cheek pads are quite thick out of the box. Those are gonna pack in, break down. I always recommend trying on the helmet in your home first for a good 15 or 30 minutes, watch some TV, hang out. You want a fit that is as tight as possible without causing discomfort. Cheek pads will break in. If it's still not there, call us, talk to Rider Support, we'll coach you through it. If the crown feels good, then that means we might just have to adjust your cheek pads, which is an option. Now the cheek pads are also emergency quick release cheek pads. By pulling this, EMS is gonna be able to remove the cheek pads while your head is still in the helmet and that'll make it easier to then remove the helmet after the fact. You notice reflective patches here and here. They've also done a relief 
in the shell, it swoops up, unlike the Valiant 2 that's gonna give you more reflection, more visibility out there on the road. Let's pull the cheek pads out of the way. So again, you're getting the safety updates, you're getting that 2206, you're getting the quick release chin strap or cheek pads, whoops. Let's get these out of the way. You're getting the 3D laser cut cheek pads with that micro suede. Let's get them out of the way. All right, so when I pull this neck roll and cheek pad set up out, you're gonna be able to see that pocket for that new Cardo system that's coming later. Here is your neck roll and cheek pad, real premium feel to it. This is a nice uh, setup that you can replace down the road. You set your helmet on something that's rough, tends to tear up the neck roll over time, you're gonna be able to replace that. You see all the stitching and panels, that all takes time, that all adds costs, but it, it gives it the premium look and feel that you might be after. Okay, now we're in here. You see this little piece of EPS that they stuck in there? That's just a placeholder. So you can use the new Cardo system that's coming soon. It might be branded as an LS2 unit. Fair warning, they might call it the LS2 Connect 3 or something like that. It might not be called Cardo, but it is gonna be made by Cardo. It's gonna insert in there. The, the uh, speakers go in the cheek pockets or in the uh, speaker pockets, I'm gonna show you in a minute, but the brains of the operation is gonna fit back there. There are those speaker pockets. They are quite large. You should be able to fit anything from uh, a basic speaker all the way up to the Cardo Pack Talk Black 45s. Let's move this headliner out of the way. Okay, we got a moisture wicking antimicrobial laser cut headliner here. There's no extra mesh or funny business to kind of get in the way. Real straightforward liner. And uh, it's got kind of a cool red uh, honeycomb to it. With that out of the way, we can see the multi-density EPS liner. It is channeled and ported as promised here. So you're gonna get that ventilation happening. That about does it. <clears throat> this is the Advent. The Valiant 2, whoops, was one of our top selling modular helmets for a number of years here. Very well reviewed helmet. It gives you that versatility to ride with it in the open position. This thing has got all the gadgets you'd want. Integrated comms, you're getting the interior drop-down visor, the external pin lock prep face shield, a lot for that sub $400 price tag. Now, if there's a question I didn't answer, which there always is, ask it in the comments, or you can always talk to a human over at speedax.com. Rider support is standing by by phone, live chat, or emails. Once you get one of these, let the community know how you dig it. Don't just, you know, ride it and get all that good information, not share it. Leave a comment in the section below. Appreciate y'all for watching. We'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.